there was rainfall, artificial rainfall as they call it, in Lahore and they're hoping that more rainfall will take place um, in the future. Hi, I'm Sarah Forster, news editor here at The National and welcome to another episode of A Closer Look. Now, everyone living in the UAE will be very familiar with the words cloud seeding. It's used a lot here to increase rainfall. However, in other parts of the world, it's also used to combat pollution. I've brought our reporter Sarwat Nazir in to tell us a little bit more about how it's being used in Pakistan for exactly this reason. Sarwat, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me, Sarah. So the UAE is still a little bit involved. They are the experts in cloud seeding after all. So can you just explain what's, what's, what's been the news story here with cloud seeding and the UAE in right. Pakistan? Well, if uh, anybody was to help Pakistan with their pollution problem, I think the best country to do it is the UAE since they have so much experience um, in the weather modification technique. Mm -hmm. So what they did is they sent out two aircrafts to Lahore in uh, Pakistan to carry out cloud seeding. And they also sent a lot of their own employees um, to Lahore. And Lahore also had their own employees take part in that, you know, training to make sure they're also familiarized with the process. Mm -hmm. um, and there was rainfall, artificial rainfall, as they call it, mm -hmm. in Lahore. And they're hoping that more rainfall will take place um, in the future. Mm -hmm. And why they're doing this is because Lahore has such a huge smog problem. Now, smog is when there's a lot of uh, pollutants in the air and it causes, uh, you know, big dust, um, mm -hmm. haze sort of um, it, like environment and which can cause several problems such as like flight delays at airports, visibility problems. Um, mm -hmm. So what they're hoping is that when it does uh, uh, rain falls, pollutants will disappear or at, le at least significantly reduce. And that could possibly help in the long term get rid of that smog uh, because ultimately what, the, what it's doing is getting rid of pollutants. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if it rains, it really, really falls <laughs> yeah, and gets does. rid of that pollutant. Well, I think anyone who lives here will know that when we do get rain in the UAE, it's always followed by a really nice clear day, isn't it? Because it pushes all the sand down and then suddenly you can see both burges at the same time or you can see for miles, you know, so it is, it is instantly um, recognisable that it does take sort of those particulates out of the air and pushes them down. So obviously Lahore in Pakistan is not the only place using cloud seeding to combat pollution. Where else in the world is using it? Yeah. So I think a lot of the countries in the Middle East have now started using uh, cloud seeding. Mm -hmm. The UAE has been using it for, I think, decades, um, probably the past two decades. Mm -hmm. And uh, countries like Saudi Arabia, for example, is investing heavily into cloud seeding. Mm -hmm. uh, the Middle East is known to have a dry climate, humid climate, um, so they would be the ones to benefit a lot from it. Uh, countries like uh, Iran are, is also using it. Um, and countries, for example, in the US also, in the Midwest, they're using cloud seeding. Mm -hmm. um, and this has been going on for several years. Maybe parts of Africa would benefit from a, a lot from it as well. And now, just before I let you get back to your day job. Can you just explain for anyone watching this that might not know, um, I mean, I think we take it for granted living in the UAE, but what exactly is cloud seeding? Right. So cloud seeding is when, uh, you know, pilots go on a special aircraft that have cloud seeding equipment. Um, they go into the clouds and they fire salt flares to enhance rainfall. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Sawat. Thank you for having me. Well, that's it for this week's episode of A Close to Look, brought to you from right here inside the Nationals newsroom. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, if you want to find all of our previous episodes, you will see them on our YouTube channel.